Bitwit's coverage of CES 2017 is brought to you by Fractal Design, MSI, and CableMod. Check out the links in the description below, or the next Windows 10 update will simply be Vista. We're at Cooler Master now, and of course, just like all my other CES 2017 coverage, Paul must be included at some point, Hi. so there's Paul. Um, but uh, look at all this stuff they have on the wall. This is for their, their Master Case uh, series, their, their whole lineup. There's just a, a ton of options here that you can trick out your system with just to expand the functionality wherever you need it. I'm not going to go through everything here because it would take a while, but uh, you can kind of read the signs there. They've got a bunch of interesting things. Uh, one cool addition is the vertical SS, or, I'm sorry, the vertical uh, GPU uh, adapter that uh, is, now, is now included. And also these uh, illuminated LED partition panels. Um, that would actually go the uh, lower compartment of your case to divide it up a little bit in much, much, uh, much bling, so to speak. Uh, we've also got a new case over here. This is the Master Case Pro 6, and uh, it's got a really cool aesthetic, actually, on the outside. And the th thing about this chassis is that it's supposedly tailored for silence. Uh, you can see here there are these kind of like floating panels that are adjustable. You can actually put them down if you push them down just like that. Um, you can tailor it for extreme silence just for the utmost uh, silent acoustic profile and you can easily pop them back up just based on your needs if you want to open up a little bit more airflow. Looks like you've got uh, plenty of radiator support there at the front as well as the top I believe as well. Yep, okay so you got radiator radiator options up the wazoo. Uh, look at that, it's, this is a perfect example of that vertical GPU orientation if you want to show off your graphics card. Um, just a very beautiful elegant design. Of course we've got the tempered glass. I really do like that there's a, a lock on there. You, know, you take this to a LAN party or something, you don't want anyone stealing your rig or stealing your components inside. Very nice. And uh, you said this is Q2 or wait, when, when is this getting released? Q2 or Q3, so be sure to look out for that. And the price point was anywhere from, we're, we're still iffy on that. Um, so stay tuned for all of that. Now, the other cool thing uh, that I want to show you guys here at the booth is, um, is this. This is actually... We, we, Paul and I walked in here in a rush and we were like, all right, show us like the coolest thing that you have here. And they brought us here to a power supply. I wasn't expecting a power supply to be one of the, cool, the, one of the things that the Cooler Master team was the most excited about here. But it's actually pretty interesting. This is um, a 1,200 watt uh, unit. It's, they're calling it the Master Watt Maker 1,200 watt MIJ. MIJ stands for Made in Japan, as, uh, as the sign suggests right there. And um, this is something that they've been in development with for like three years. The past three years they've been working on this. And if you just take a look here, it's like just ridiculous over the top internals. Um, there's certain componentry in here that regular made in China uh, units do not even contain. Um, that's just to uh, clean up the power and just to improve the efficiency. In fact, the efficiency is so good, it actually goes beyond titanium uh, 80 plus certification. So we're gonna have to think of a new standard for that. So I, I think I, I, I overheard diamond at one point. Maybe we can go with like, Double black, uh, double black diamond, you know, uh, this, is, this ain't no bunny slope. So this is a really, really fascinating product. Of course, it is going to set you back about $1,000. Um, I think maybe maybe you're going to have to get a really expensive case to even be worthy of putting it in there. Um, but uh, this was also in collaboration with uh, a very reputable uh, company in Japan, Murata. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, there's there's a, is that, is that the owner right there? Uh, Kenzo, or? he's the lead. Uh, Kenzo, he's the lead. He's the lead engineer. Uh, this guy soldered every single thing by hand on every unit. No, I'm just totally joking. Um, he did not do that. But uh, it comes in a very nice packaging as well. Fully modular system. It's got a, a nice, a nice, uh, nice fan right there. It is a very heavy unit, which obviously is a, a good sign that uh, there are some quality components in this thing. So be sure to stay tuned for that as well. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for my coverage of the Cooler Master Suite here at CES 2017. Huge thank you to my sponsors, MSI, Fractal Design, and of course, Cable Mod. Go ahead and check out their stuff in the comments, no, in the description below. And hopefully you guys join me for more CES coverage coming at you really soon. Have a good one, guys. What else?